How's it going everyone? It's November 10th, 2010. Um, this video is going to be talking about the AU Bandpass feature on GarageBand. And I found that there wasn't a whole lot of information that talked about some of these audio unit filters in GarageBand, so I thought I'd put out a video, put it on the uh, new partner page, and uh, tell you a little bit about it. So let's open up GarageBand. So I have a song that I had tracked out, I've been you know, playing around with for a while and we pull up the AU bandpath bandpass and in, or, in order to get to this um, say you have a track um, we'll go with this bass track you want to go over make sure on the I setting down here up to edit you can open up one of these I already have one opened up AU bandpass is on the bottom half of the page you can open up to manually uh, be able to change it. What the AU Bandpass feature does is it allows you to widen or shorten your frequency range while also being able to manipulate the central frequency. So uh, this is good for bass and uh, for a lot of post-production uh, mixing and mastering kind of work, but it's really interesting. I'm going to play a beat so you can hear how it sounds, how it's changed when you increase the frequency range, when you move the central frequency, uh, so you can get an idea of how this feature works. So when you're using the AU Bandpath feature, um, you have to realize that what you're really doing is cutting out the higher and lower frequencies within your given frequency range. So here's an example of shortening frequency range. The next option the AU Bandpass feature has is it allows you to change the central frequency relative to your frequency range by moving back and forth between the 12 to 22,000 hertz continuum. So when you move the central frequency to the left, you're making audible lower frequencies, and when you move it to the right, you're making audible higher frequencies within your given range. So I hope that gives you a better understanding of what the AU Bandpass filter does. Um, I'm going to play a track that I had been compiling. Um, the central frequency I centered on 743 hertz. This is on my bass track uh, with a bandpass filter width of 3950. So uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.